Hey guys, what's up? It is me, Jin the Sim, and I am back with another video today, and we are back in to The Sims 4 for our Sims 4 Let's Play series, Season 2. So, I don't know how many of you guys saw the teaser to this season, but you actually were not introduced to the Sims that we will be playing with in this season. So, without further ado, I will go ahead and show you who we are exactly playing with. So, keep in mind that, um... These are the kids that we were actually playing with in the last season, but they are just grown up now. So here we have Sydney Gold, as you can see right here. Um, she does not look way too happy, but Sydney Gold is who we will be using. As you know, she was the only daughter that we actually had in the family. So, of course, we had to continue her reign, and now we are using her. And, of course, we have the one and only Princeton Gold as well, so... Obviously, they are brothers and sisters, brother and sister, and, you know, the backstory is, is that the parents died, Alex and Ryan actually died, unfortunately, as sad as that is, but the kids were left with the house, and they unfortunately could not keep up with the payments on the house and afford the house, so they actually had to move out of the house. But their ultimate goal in life is to actually move back into their childhood home. So throughout this Let's Play series, we are going to be continuing to try to get back into our old house. And hopefully, you know, hopefully get back in there. Uh, basically, they really want to go back to their childhood home. And that is what we are going to be trying to get to in this Let's Play series. So they will try everything they can to get back into that house but for now they've actually moved into this little starter home because they of course did not have that much money so all they really could afford was right here um and that is what we are going to be living in of course they do want to be moving into a bigger and better house once they do get enough money for that but unfortunately we are only we're not that close to getting more money but um that is basically what we're going to be doing in this Let's Play series. So, um, here is Sydney and Princeton once again, and we're going to be using them as our Sims in this Let's Play series. So, to begin with, we actually need to go ahead and get some jobs. Unfortunately, as sad as that is, we actually have to do that because we do need money indeed. So, with Sydney, I'm actually going to be having her go into the doctor career, believe it or not. Um, we really have not really explored that career path so we are definitely going to be a doctor in the doctor career from get to work of course and mr princeton right here is going to need to find his own job so let's go ahead and do that if he would hurry it up here um we are going to go ahead and go into the business career with princeton so, they both start their work tomorrow, so that is what we're going to be doing. And, of course, Sydney is in the doctor career, as I said earlier, so we're going to be able to follow her around at her job and interact with her there. But, of course, that is tomorrow. So, right now, they're just obviously making some food. Um, if Dude, you just made the food and you're not going to even eat it. Go back up here, grab the food, and then eat it and sit down. Um, they're already off to a bad start. Clearly... They were not thinking this through too well. But over here, um, it actually came... This house actually came with a big bed, so I had to split it up into two separate beds, because obviously we're not going to have those two sleeping together. Because that's just weird. That's kind of awkward. Um, it looks like Princeton is not in a good mood. Neither is Sydney. So we're going to go ahead and get those little meters up, um, feeling like an emotionless shell from the cow plant. Believe it or not, we're actually living next door to our old house, <laughs> as ironic as that is. So here's our house. Um, the cow plants were here. Obviously, you can't see them now because we are not actually in the house itself right now. But we did have cow plants, believe me on that one, at our old house. What are you doing? Kaden. Oh, Kaden. Hey, our brother. Kaden making a surprise appearance in episode 1 of The Sims 4 Season 2 Let's Play series part. So what's up, Kaden? As you can remember, Kaden is indeed our older brother. And it looks like he doesn't have anything better to be doing with his life than coming over to his um, sibling's house. But you know what? Hey, Kaden, you're always welcome here. Also, we should probably think about doing something fun tonight. Maybe go t out to the nightclub, um, because we need to turn up on a Sunday night. So let me have them both go ahead and travel out to the Blue Velvet nightclub, if I can figure out what I'm doing here. 
Caden, or Princeton, sorry. Um, now I'm thinking Caden, but we are actually going with Princeton to the Blue Velvet nightclub. We're going to see what's up there, see if we can turn up a little, even though it is still Sunday night. We don't really pay attention to the date or the time. Um, so let me go ahead and go over here. We could go to, like, Rattlesnake Juice, but, of course, I really don't feel the need to do that because... Rattlesnake Juice is not as good as Blue Velvet Nightclub, in my opinion. That's just my personal opinion, though. I mean, whatever you like better, go for it. So we're going to head out to the Blue Velvet Nightclub, see if we can't um, dance a little, let our, eat, let our stress get away from us a little, because, of course, our parents just died, unfortunately. No big deal or anything, but let's see if we can go ahead and um, relieve some of that stress from that happening. Um, so I'm going to have them both go ahead and order a drink over here if we can figure that out. Let's go ahead and have her get some fizzy fruity drink. He will go ahead and get a... Um, let's do some sour punch. Ooh, 50 bucks. We don't have that much money to be spending, but you know what? Hey, we got to splurge on something to make our lives a little bit better. Why is it so flippin' dark in here? That's my question of the day. Who are you? Waldemar, Waldemar, what kind of name is that? Who were your, what were your parents thinking when they had you? Let me just tell you that much. I don't know what your parents would have been thinking when they named you that, but that is a little crazy of a name. If you screw up our drinks, literally, you idiot. What's her name? Precious, Precious. You better not m make our drinks go bad. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know what I was going to say. Precious, you better not jack up our drinks is basically what I was trying to say, though. Um, how about you quit playing around, quit trying to do those fancy drink tricks, and just make the flippin' drink already, idiot. Okay, how, how about that? Um, so we got our drink. Oh, she's making a lot of drinks. Hopefully we're not paying for all that because we did not bring that much money with us. Um, I did not order a whole round of drinks. So I don't know why she just made all those. But whatever, precious, whatever. You're too precious to get mad at. Um, so let's go ahead and have them actually go over here and dance to some music. See if we can loosen up a little. Um, it looks like the blues are on the radio. So, I mean, I guess that's fine. I mean, I don't really think that we could get down and dirty to the blues. But Princeton has obviously proved me wrong. He is getting down and dirty to the blues. But whatever. You know what? Whatever. Whatever floats your boat, Princeton. Whatever floats your boat. Let's see if we can go ahead and dance with this girl who's just awkwardly doing her thing over here. What's her name? Jasmine. Well, welcome, Jasmine. Hopefully you can be our best friend because we, we need some friends in our life. Because we are lonely and nobody likes us, so we need a friend, and you're going to be that friend. You're the designated friend, and I've picked that out. So, whether you like it or not, you're going to be our friend, okay? Okay. Uh, what is she actually... What? What? How are they talking to each other from across the table? What? That doesn't even make sense. They're sitting at opposite tables, but yet they're talking to each other... I'm sure that makes a lot of sense in the Sims world. Um, clearly, I mean, why would you not be able to talk to somebody sitting at a completely different table from you? I mean, it just completely makes sense. Stop listening to the blues and actually talk to your new best friend, Miss Jasmine. Oh, the Grim Reaper's here? What? What? Is he? Yep. Oh, hey, guy. Hey, guy. What's up? What's good in the hood, Grim? Welcome. Can you give us our parents back, by the way? Is that a thing? Can you do that now? Because that would be great. Have a sim befriend the Grim Reaper. Yeah, if you could, like, give us our old, late parents back, that would be awesome. No, wait, no, don't say goodbye yet. Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, So let's go ahead and give him a heartfelt compliment, because why not? I mean, it is the Grim Reaper himself, so if we can get on his good side, I feel like we might be able to avenge death or something. Or get our parents back. That would be great, too. Our parents are definitely missed. It's crazy that they died. Um, We were with Alex and Ryan, obviously, for 50 Let's Play parts, which is a long time. I was, like, attached to those sims, and they had to die, so that was kind of sad, and I missed them, but of course, life goes on, and the sims goes on. I, I'm busy with these 
With all the pools being built, I've been drowning in paperwork. What is your... Oh! <laughs> I get it. I get it. That means that, like, a lot of Sims have been drowning lately. Dude, where did he just go? Hey, let's order a Grim Reaper a drink. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Okay. Wait, no. No, we can't. Never mind. Never mind. I was gonna say we could order a drink. Oh, wait, yeah. Let's make... Wait, hang on. Um, yes. We're gonna do that. Let's go ahead and order Sea of Fire, because that just sounds like a Grim Reaper type drink. Sea of Fire. So let's go ahead and have, um, let's go ahead and order some drinks for the Grim Reaper, just to loosen him up a little, get the, let the loot, the goose get loose. I cannot talk right now. We're gonna let the goose get loose with the Grim and order him a drink. Never mind, he's walking away from us. Okay, bye. Bye, Felicia. I didn't even, you didn't even give us an opportunity to buy you a drink, but whatever. And it looks like Princeton is still going to town on the music. <laughs> He's still a dancing, okay? Um, why won't it let me click on him? There we go. Awesome. Yep, he's still dancing. And a lot of people are wanting to talk to him. Actually, just one person, sorry. I was looking at this face and I thought it was him. But, um, yeah, it looks like somebody wants to talk to him. And what is the deal with this little mess right here. Did somebody pee themselves? Did the Grim Reaper piss himself on the floor in the nightclub? Hey, we actually did bring him the drink, I think, right? No, no, we didn't. Never mind. Um, we're drinking our own drink, though. Princeton, go get a drink. You need another one. Actually, it's almost 10, so we might actually want to think about heading home pretty soon because it is getting pretty late. But, of course, I mean... The night is still young because it's only 10 p.m. At the same time, you, it depends how you look at it. It could be really late or really early. So once Princeton actually gets a drink, I think we're going to go ahead and head home because we actually do have an early morning tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be our first day of work for the both of our Sims. So we, we might want to get a good night's sleep tonight. So I'm going to have her go ahead and go up to the bathroom, use the bathroom very quickly while he is getting his last drink of the night in. And then we are both going to head home if they can cooperate with me. They're both going to head home. I don't know exactly when each of them starts tomorrow. Um, he looks... Okay, so she starts at 7 a.m. and he starts at 9 a.m. So yeah, we definitely do both have a very early morning tomorrow, and of course it is our first day of work, which is pretty nerve-wracking, if you ask me. So we definitely do want to head home and get a good night's sleep in so that we can ace our first day of work and not completely, completely suck it up, because that would kind of be sad if you ask me. Um, but I will actually go ahead and skip it till when... We oh wait, never mind, I spoke too soon. So we are actually home right now. And I'm going to have them just go ahead and go straight to bed because we don't really need to do anything else. They could probably use um, some food, but we're just going to go ahead and take care of that once we do wake up in the morning. Because I don't want to really waste time right now. Um, but I will go ahead and cut to when they wake up. Okay, they are just waking up. Or actually, Sydney is waking up, I should say. Um, and she actually has to go to work in... 20 minutes, and she has not yet eaten, so we're going to have to haul ass to go ahead and get some food in our system, and then we're going to go ahead and head off to work, and of course, we will be following her around for the day, so that will be interesting. Join. So we're going to go ahead and head into our first day of work at the hospital. I'm so nervous, but you know what? Hey, we are going to literally be the best nurse that there is available at the hospital. <laughs> Um, I've, I've used the doctor career a few times for get to work, but of course, um, it's usually basically the same thing, so it shouldn't be that hard. All we're really going to have to do is see patients and stuff. So hopefully we don't have that many patients today. Hopefully it's kind of a slow day. Ooh, we have bills to pay. Okay. Okay. Um, who is this? Oh, he's a nurse. What are we considered? technically a medical intern okay well we're gonna have to change that real quick we are going to be a nurse whether they like it or not um we're gonna go ahead and grab a snack because that is one of our duties for the day so let's go ahead and buy a uh let's do a sandwich i would say toaster pastry but we're trying to eat healthy here 
So we're gonna go ahead and um, grab a bite to eat, and then we actually have to deliver food to a patient in a bed exam room. And it looks like we already have a lot of, wow. We already have a lot of patients for the day. We, it looks like we have three, so um, we're gonna go ahead and deliver this rando some food um, once we are finished eating our own. And then um, hopefully we can get this green bar up all the way by the end of the day. And it looks like we have to also um, sanitize our hands. So let me find out where we can actually do that. I'm assuming just in the bathroom. If not, I don't know what else. So right now she's going she's gonna to go ahead and um, deliver some food to Malcolm Landgrab. And then we're going to go wash our hands because he is dirty. You know, he is just the dirtiest slug of all. Um, and then let's go ahead and greet two coworkers. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy while he's doing whatever he's doing. And we're going to actually go ahead and talk to this guy over here just so that we can get that one out of the way. And then we have to make a bed, but unfor- Oh, no. Okay. Looks like we're going to make this bed all the way down here. So let's go ahead and do that. Work day ends at five or 4.54 a.m. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and we will then go ahead and discuss... Never mind. Okay, let's go ahead and mop up the puddle. Hopefully somebody peed themselves so that we can actually mop that puddle up. Let's go ahead and do that. That. And let's go do that. If she can do it, hurry up. Okay, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, no. Go back here, wash the hands, and go make a bed or something. I don't know. I don't even care about the patients, really. I'm just trying to get a promotion here. That's all I'm trying to do. That is all I am trying to do. And then we're going to have to go ahead and grab a cup of coffee, run over here really quickly, do this. What's really dumb about this job is literally this is nothing that a nurse would ever do. It's like the stupidest tasks ever. Okay, so we're going to brew the coffee, and while that is going on, we're actually going to go ahead, run over here, greet a patient, just to get that little thingy thing out of the way. And then hopefully by the time that we're done with that, we can actually run back over here and get the coffee from under here. Grab a drink, yep. And then we also should discuss work with a coworker. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to Stuart about work, um, the nurse goals. We really do want to be a nurse, though. I really want to do that. Hopefully that happens. Come on, go do what I told you to, you idiot. Um, oh, we have one hour left. Okay, great. Um, so I think that we might have to go ahead and extend our day just so that we can actually... Um, oops. Um, just so that we can actually get a promotion or get the green bar to the fullest right now. And let's go ahead and go over here, deliver whatever this girl's name is, Carol. Well, we're going to go ahead and bring some food over to Carol, and then we're going to go ahead and wash our hands really quickly because we don't want those nasty germs that Carol is sp trying to spread to us. Now eat the food, Carol. Eat the food. No, I don't want to go home yet. Dang it. Okay. Well, that is the end of our work day. I should have extended it, but I was not looking at the time. So hopefully we did get somewhat of a boost in our work performance through that. Um, I think that we probably should have. Of course, if we actually did, I don't know. We will see when we get home, I guess. But I know that we're actually going to have to probably do some stuff at home so that we can actually get our promotion. But, of course, we will see once we do get home. And then I think Princeton should also be coming home from work fairly soon as well. His workday probably goes longer than ours does, though, because he starts later than we do. Yeah, so he ends at 5. So we still have two hours yet until he gets home. So we can probably just go ahead and go to the bathroom and then just serve dinner. And by the time he gets home, hopefully that will be ready so that we can just eat dinner together because we are a great sister. We're just going to have some grilled cheats for dinner because we are lazy AF and we don't really feel like making an effort to make some fancy food because there's no really reason for that. So... As for our job, it looks like we have gotten one step in the right direction. And then we... Oh, all we have to do to get a promotion is attend at two days of work, and then we are able and eligible to get a... Um, oh, okay, he's home. So, Princeton, go ahead and grab some grilled cheese for dinner, 
And then once he's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and put it away just so that the food doesn't spoil on it. I don't know how his work day went. It looks like his went well, I think. He needs to fill out his report, though. However you do that, I don't know. Um, it might be in his inventory, actually. Never mind. Never mind. Um, I don't really know how to fill out reports. But with that being said, it's actually time for me to wrap up this Let's Play series part. I hope you guys enjoy this first uh, Let's Play series part in our new series. Let me guys know what you thought of it. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.